Hey guys, I hope all of you are fine. So today I'm going to review this Shani 700 and Flash, also known as Icon 700 and Flash. Both of them are the same. Shani is basically the copy of Canon EXT Flash, EXR2 I think they call it, and uh, Icon is the copy of Shani Flash. So basically, Shani and Icon are the same thing. Okay, so first, first of all, I will tell you that I have been using this flash for about uh, more than a year, I guess, and I have been using this flash on my wedding events, casual shoots events product event product shoots and i think couple of other stuff as well and uh, the flash is really good i had never had an issue with the using this flash this flash here in islamabad cost about 6500 or 7000 which is really cheap for the features it has it has high speed sync it also has an optical slave feature so it can be used as a as a slave it supports the high speed sync function which is that uh, you can use the share speed above 1 2 50th of a second on Nikons and 1 2 hundredth of a second on Canon so you can use that high speed for darkening the backgrounds on a bright sunny days which is very helpful but uh, the main problem of high speed sync is that it uses a lot of power so uh, normally on my casual outdoor shoots I use the flap power between 1 by 2 to 1, 1 by 1 which is full power and uh, I don't think I ever needed a power more than one by one which is full power so it nearly does my job but for uh, using a really high speed that is one eight thousandth of a second it does issue at one eight thousandth of a second the flash uses a lot of power so it cannot produce that power because it uses four small AA size batteries so it's not that powerful okay now so the flash is in manual mode you can change the power from pressing this button and then changing the dial you can change the power from 1 by 128 to 1 by 1 which is full power you can also change the, uh, the reflector uh, which is you can change by this pressing this button and then you can change it like this way you can also change the flash angle by pressing down this button and rotating this dial so basically at 20 millimeter the flash head is really wide so the beam of light will go everywhere and uh, if you change the its view to 200 millimeter so the flash beam will be narrower but it will go a lot of distance now i want to tell you that this flash also has an idtl function which is means that it is an auto flash it can be used on auto so in idtl a camera sends a pre-flash that determines how much power to be used so it can go from plus three to minus three and the cycle time of this flash is about uh, two seconds or less and it is really great see now it's on manual and so you can use on radios in channel 1 and, and, and group A B C channel 1 channel 2 channel 3 channel 4 and channel 1 but uh, the main problem is that you can't use it on a Godox flash which uses in uh, some other uh, 2.4 gigahertz system which isn't compatible with this one but you can use this one with Nikon triggers so that's pretty much it and if you want to know uh, anything else about this flash so you can uh, type in the comment and I'll try my best to answer that question